How close could a person get to the sun and survive? Of all the bodies in our solar system, the sun is probably the one we want to give the widest birth. It gushes radiation, and even though its surface is the coolest part of the star, it burns at about 9,940 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to incinerate just about any material. As such, there are no plans to send a manned mission in its direction anytime soon. But it can't hurt to figure out at what distance a person would want to turn back. You can get surprisingly close. The sun is about 93 million miles away from Earth. The standard space suit will keep an astronaut relatively comfortable at external temperatures reaching up to 248 degrees. Heat coming off the sun dissipates over a distance, but a person drifting in space would begin encountering that kind of heat some 3 million miles from the sun. It would then be a matter of time before the astronaut died, says McNutt, an engineer working on the heat shielding for NASA's messenger, a new robotic mercury probe. Above 248 degrees. The suit would transform into a close-fitting sauna, the temperature would climb above 125 degrees and the person would become dehydrated and pass out, eventually dying of heat stroke. Riding in the space shuttle, though, someone could get much closer to our star. The ship's reinforced carbon-carbon heat shield is designed to withstand temperatures of up to 4,700 degrees to ensure that the spacecraft and its passengers can survive the friction heat generated when it re-enters the atmosphere from orbit. If the shield wrapped the entire shuttle, astronauts could fly to within 1.3 million miles of the sun. But the integrity of the shield degrades rapidly above 4,700 degrees, and the cockpit would begin to cook. Much hotter than that. The shields would fail altogether, and the vehicle would combust in less than a minute. Of course, just getting that close to the sun would be quite an accomplishment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.